Hey there, it's Tuesday! Yay, Tuesday. Okay, so um, yeah, this week has been super crazy for me. Um, I have been working on my um, audition songs and my resume, and I have to um, send in a resume, um, an application, a two and two um, letters of recommendation by like next Monday. So that means we have to send it on Thursday because Monday is a holiday and so, and they don't aren't there on the weekend. Yeah, so that's fun. So I've been working on that and working on my songs and so that's my first audition is on the 23rd. So if you guys could be thinking about that and praying for me about that because it's kind of crazy. It, excuse me. Then the next audition is on March 2nd. So it's kind of completely insane. And then I have um, senior trip the next week. And then I have GISA literary the next week. And then at the end of that week, I have uh, some new competition that we're doing at school. So I'm completely busy and completely crazy for doing all of this. Um, so yeah, and uh, so yeah. So Carrie, um, I don't really know... I, I can see how that would be really, really tiring, I guess, like sitting through a lot of sermons. I understand. I can see that. Um, but actually, the, of the people that you named that preached, the only one I actually recognized um, was David Platt. So that shows how much I know about famous preachers. Not a lot, obviously. Um, uh, I think it would be kind of cool. To do that, but yeah, it would definitely to hear 13 sermons in a week um, would be pretty insane. Not that it wouldn't be good, it would just be insane. Um, and so, um, this past weekend was D Now at my church, and it was super amazing and also kind of sad because it's the last one. Um, but I had a lot of fun. I think this was kind of like the best D Now I've ever been to because it was. Um, the theme was revolution, so we were talking about starting not only a revolution in our life, but in the world, um, and how only God can and start that, and, um, so this now was not just focused about us, um, but also about other people, and, um, the senior, we all had, um, community service projects, kind of, that we did on Saturday, and the senior class, we got to go to Atlanta, to um, Wellspring Living, they have a um, a house place, a place there that um, they rescue girls out of sex trafficking and um, slavery, and um, they kind of help them restore them and like help them graduate from high school and things like that. And um, if you didn't know, they're actually in the world right now. There are 30, 32 million slaves, and that's more slaves than any time in history ever, um, which I think is super sad and really just just awful. Um, and Atlanta, Georgia is actually the hub of sex trafficking and slavery in the United States. Um, kind of an unlikely thing, but it goes on behind closed doors, and it's really bad, and it just it really makes me sick. And I've been hearing that number a lot lately, that there are 32 million slaves. Um, but going to the Wellspring Center um, just kind of made it more personal to me. Um, the lady that was kind of in charge of our little project that um, worked there um, told us when we first got there kind of about what they were doing and um, about their program, and she said the girls that were actually living at the place where we went um, were 17 to eight to 17 to 22 year olds, um, and that's like our age, you know. Like that could have been one of us who had been um, taken and put into this and trapped in this. And and she was telling us how you know none of them choose to do this. It's not something that they want for their lives. It's not. Um, you know, something that they would love to continue in. And she said that one of the girls um, was actually sold by her own mother when she was six years old. And that's just completely sick and wrong and really just really sad to me. 
And so to be there and, and we um, actually just kind of like raked their yard and, um, and kind of put out pine straw and just kind of made their yard. They don't really have the time to do anything to their yard. So we just kind of made their yard more beautiful. And um, so we raked uh, lots of leaves and um, we put out pine straw and the girls, some of the girls, not me, I raked, um, some of the girls planted flowers. And so um, it was just it was just good to be able to serve them and just to do something as small as, you know, giving them a pretty yard. Um, these girls go through so much, and I can't imagine going through so much when you're only 17 years old. I just can't imagine it, and to be in that situation, and I just it just shows shows them that people actually care about them because they've been so manipulated and exploited in their lives um, that that people actually care about them and that people want to help them um, and so I just it was just a really good experience and it kind of um, made it more personal to me to see where they live and what you know what their life is like not really a little bit kind of a little bit about what their life is like um, so yeah that was that was a really a really fun and I really 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 enjoyed it and um, so yeah so Dina was awesome and I've been doing a little better about reading my Bible. It's just, you know, I'm just so distracted and it's, it's my fault that I don't do it. Um, and it's just something that I definitely need to work on and you guys need to help me work on it and I will help you work on it too. Um, so yes, Thursday is Valentine's Day and I love you guys like always. Um, and Jessica... I will, um, I hope that your SA ACT went well, and not like I don't see you every day, but I haven't asked you about that, and yeah, so, um, Jessica, I'll see you on Thursday. Love you guys.